Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and in today's video I cannot wait to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree summer decor crafts. So I am so ready for summer, the time to refresh, redecorate our homes with some beautiful, inexpensive, budget-friendly summer decor and DIYs. So in this video, I am excited to share with you this super fun and easy, simple little French chic farmhouse wreath, and I thought it's going to be a super fun one. I'm all about making things easy during the summer. So I just really want to make summer just super chill and super easy going and I want my decor to reflect that. Another thing that is super hot this year are lemons and the color yellow. So I know that that's in the 2019 design trend is one of the trendy colors is yellow. So I promised you guys we would make a lemon faux cake and this is everything I got for this cake is Dollar Tree supply. So I can't wait to share this one with you guys. It actually looks so delicious. I just want to taste but really it's fake so anyway you guys plug in your glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting for the first Dollar Tree DIY we're going to create a lemon fresh sunshine summer sign so just use a Dollar Tree sign really anyone will do and I'm just putting one coat of my homemade chalk paint on it and to make the homemade chalk paint you just use one cup of regular paint to half a cup of baking soda and mix well. Now I'm taking some painters tape and I want to make stripes, some sunshine yellow stripes on this sign. So I'm taking the painters tape and I'm adhering one layer of painters tape and then I'm using another strip of the painters tape to guide my stripes. I hope that makes sense. And and so now I'm just putting down the third layer of paint painter's tape and then I'm going to take that middle one up and you're just going to continue to do that process until you get all of the tape down the front part of your sign. I was really excited for how great my stripes ended up coming on this and then also Arteza Crafts Company sent me this really beautiful acrylic paint and I'm using the lemon yellow color. I will leave a coupon code down below if you guys want some really high quality acrylic paints. Otherwise you can just grab some from Dollar Tree or from Walmart and those will work great too. So now I'm just painting the stripes on my sign and I did just use one coat of chalk paint on my base sign and then one coat of the lemon yellow for my stripes. Now that I have the lines painted onto my little Dollar Tree lemon stripe sign, I am just going to go ahead and use some sandpaper and distress the front part of the sign. I just did this very gently, but I did want to give it that aged appearance. And now I just grabbed some Dollar Tree acrylic white paint, and I just want to go over the little bit of yellow stripes to kind of tone them down just a hair. This step is definitely optional. Now I'm taking some of those Dollar Tree letters and I want to put lemons, I want to spell out lemons on the front and then put five cents um, underneath it. And you can tell that I ran out of room, so I actually had to move these letters down. <laughs> Um, but I just used also the Dollar Tree numbers. I really love these. These are a peel and stick um, letter and number set and they are awesome. And then to get the set part, I just cut out one of the little um, exclamation points. I just cut it apart. And then you can tell I moved my lemons down and now I'm using one of those Dollar Tree notepads that had the lemons on it that I picked up. And I'm just cutting out some of the cute little lemons that were on the notepad. And I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge my lemons onto the front part of my sign. And I did end up going over the entire sign with one coat of Mod Podge, including the letters. And that way, hopefully, they'll stay down just a little bit because they do have a tendency to kind of um, peel up a bit. So sometimes adding a bit of glue really does help. And I think it came out so adorable. This is so cute. I think this would be great for a little lemonade stand or whatever home decor that you're going for, but it definitely added that perfect pop of color to my French farmhouse design. I also did another huge DIY 
lemon farmhouse video and I will link that down below in case you need more inspiration. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY we're going to create this really cute little lemon cake. So what you'll need for this project is a little container of the Dollar Tree spackling and you'll find that in the hardware automotive section of Dollar Tree and then I'm using that lemon Arteza acrylic craft paint and you just want to stir that up really really well. Also stirring your spackling helps it get to be a little bit softer and easier to apply. Now to make your lemon cake you want a piece of Dollar Tree styrofoam. I chose this square styrofoam but they do have all shapes and sizes and then in the craft section you can get these little craft tools that are really great for putting your spackling on and also a knife will work as well just like an old butter knife maybe that you have at home and so I'm just taking a and I'm using this craft tool and I'm applying the spackling all the way around the edge and I like to try to leave the top for the last part that way I have something to hold on to but the spackling is very forgiving and I really highly encourage you all to try this craft it is so fun and so easy to make so just continue to add more of your spackling as you go and then you can also switch to one of the smaller craft tools that they have in the little set of craft tools in the kids section is where you guys find these um, to do more of a detailed um, finer touch and then I'm going to take this Dollar Tree squishy this is a lemon squishy that I found in the kids toy section and I'm going to cut it in half and I want to use this for the top part of my cake and then I'm also going to cut a little bit of the foam out because it was a little bit too big in its original shape and now I'm just adding some of the Dollar Tree spackling aka my icing to get my lemon to stay on to my cake. Now I'm just going to cut some lemon slices from that same piece of Dollar Tree Squishy and I'm going to apply that to the top part of my cake. And now I'm using some pieces of Dollar Tree Greenery. This was on another floral that I had left over for an another project and I'm just going to attach that to the top part of my cake. And you guys can use a little dab of your icing to get these to hold on even better if you need to, if your icing is not thick enough on the top. So you can see I'm just adding a little dab of icing and I'm adding on some of that Dollar Tree chip so it kind of looks like baby's breath. Also a lot of you ask how long these cakes take to dry. They do take three days to completely dry all the way. However the Dollar Tree spackling dries quicker than the spackling that's the featherweight spackling that you get at Lowe's. Just a little note for you guys. And here it is all decorated up so lemon fresh and so gorgeous and I really think it looks really realistic. I think if you didn't know, you might guess that it could be a real lemon cake. And these are so gorgeous and so fun to add to any of your new uh, summer vignettes. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to create a cute little very easy cake stand. You're just going to need a Dollar Tree candlestick, a little Dollar Tree plate, and then some E6000 glue. And you're going to take the E6000 glue and you're going to apply it to the top part of your candlestick. And you can use any plate that you got guys have laying around and I also have found these candlesticks at the thrift store for a quarter just a little hint on that so just apply it to the bottom of your plate and then you'll need to let that dry for about 24 hours before the E6000 glue is dry and then add your darling cake and voila you have a very fabulous cake stand and cake that nobody would know cost you only about two or three dollars to make. I think these are so fun and I cannot wait to share more cakes uh, with you all. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY I'm going to create this cute little burlap wreath. So I'm taking some burlap and actually Actually, I got this burlap from burlapfabric.com. I do have a $5 off coupon, but I'm taking this little pipe cleaner and then one of those Dollar Tree 12 inch wreath bases, and I'm just gonna wire the pipe cleaner on. Now this is the ruffle method. If you guys need more help, um, this is the ruffle method for a burlap wreath. So you're just gonna wire your burlap on, and this is really easy. Trust me, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So you're just gonna pull your first loop of burlap through 
and then you're going to pull your second loop of burlap through and then your third loop of burlap through. So you can see on the wire wreath form there's three layers there so you just pull it through each layer and then you're going to take and you're going to kind of squish it down. So you just kind of push it down with your fingers and then you're going to take it in the back and you're just going to twist that three times. So while you're holding your little loop at the top, you're going to twist in the back and then you're going to bring it back up through the bottom and you're going to start your next um, row of little puffs here. So you're going to pull it through again and then you're going to pull it through again on the next rung. And my burlap was kind of a thick size. I'll link the dimensions down below for you guys. But you're going to pull, go ahead and pull it through. But just make sure it doesn't get twisted. My fingers were having a bit of a time with it. So you have to kind of unroll it as you go. That was probably the most trickiest part for me was that it kept getting twisted. So anyway, you're going to go ahead and squish it down again. And then hold on to it there at the top. And you're going to twist it three times in the back and that'll keep it from um, unfurling on you <laughs> or undoing and then you're going to push it through again the bottom and you just work your way up each time until you get to the top and you just continue to repeat this process over and over again until you get all the way around the wreath now a little tip is is the first one of these I did the loops were a little bit large and I did these loops a little bit smaller this time and I feel like I got better results and I didn't use as much burlap so so just continue to work that burlap magic and pull those little loops through three times, twist in the back, and then go back down and start the process back over again. Once I got to the end of my wreath, I just used a piece of pipe cleaner and I just pipe cleanered that little end piece on. And also I wanted to let you all know that Walmart and the craft stores also sell these large, big, long um, spools of burlap that you guys can make these wreaths with. I think Walmart's is about 4 or $5 and I'm not sure about the craft stores, but I will leave that coupon code for the burlapfabric.com down below if you guys want to check any of their burlap stuff out. So also I decided to add this cute little gratitude is the best attitude sign and I also created a little bow up top. I have a several bow tutorials on my channel if you guys need help with any bows. So I just wired that sign on with a piece of pipe cleaner and I think it came out so perfect and so adorable. And the best part about this is because the burlap is neutral, I can change out the signs month by month. So stay tuned for a new one next month. Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm taking two terracotta pots. One is from the Dollar Tree that I painted white and another one, guys, I've had this pot left over for years. So anyway, I just painted them white and then I distressed them with some sandpaper. And now I'm adding in some Dollar Tree styrofoam. I want to create kind of a little um, stacked pot here. So just add that styrofoam in and then I'm going to add some of that Dollar Tree grass. I wanted it to look kind of like a faux herb pot. I really feel like um, in the summertime there's a lot of greenery so I wanted to bring that greenery element into my home for summertime. And also I wanted to add in some of this Dollar Tree moss and then just continue to add in more greenery. I also added in this large piece of greenery, greenery through the top to stabilize that little top pot. I did hot glue the top pot to the piece of styrofoam, but I wanted to stabilize it by poking a big long piece of greenery through it. Now you can see I'm adding in some of those Dollar Tree ferns, and this just came out so gorgeous and so perfect. I also added in some cute little white flowers to just kind of give it a little bit of visual interest, and I thought it looked really adorable with this cute little wreath we just created. Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm just taking some old mason jars. Actually, I think these are curd jars, but Dollar Tree does sell jars 
or you could use a peanut butter jar, any old jar that you have laying around. But I'm going to take three jars and I'm just painting them with my homemade chalk paint. And then I'm taking a wet towel. Now I did paint them with three coats of paint. And then I'm going back in with a wet towel and I'm wet distressing them. And then I'm cutting out some of those cute little lemons from my Dollar Tree notepad. And I want to Mod Podge those to the top of these cute little jars. For the finishing touch on my little jars, I decided to add some twine to the top just to kind of finish it off and give it that Frenchy farmhouse vibe. And then I just tied a little shoelace bow to the top and I think they came out so adorable. I'm going to use them on my table centerpiece. And then for the next Dollar Tree DIY, you can take a Dollar Tree Easter basket and chalk paint it and then use some of those Target Dollar Spot lemon um, towels. They sell to, uh, a pack of two was a dollar and then just add your citrus fruits or any fruits that you love for summer and that will really give it a fresh fruit and you could also use fake fruit for this too but I thought that was just a quick and simple easy DIY that you can recycle your Easter basket baskets with. So now I'm just sharing with you a little vignette on how I will set my table and also how I'm sharing it with you guys on this video. But I'm just taking this little toolbox that I chalk painted and I added a little bit of greenery to the back. This was some greenery that I picked up at the thrift store. And then I'm adding those little cute little mason jars. I think this is such a fun idea. And then Target Dollar Spot also has this fresh lemon sign if you want to grab that. And then my little Dollar Tree topiary terrarium thing over there, my cute little basket of lemons. And then also just for this video and display purposes, I just stuck the little wreath in. I thought that would be really cute to share with you guys how everything ties together. I did end up putting the wreath on my... Um, kitchen door and then my little lemon sign. I just think these are so cute, so fresh and fun. Wow. This gave me such a lift. I know that the color yellow is um, just a happy color. You guys comment, do you guys know anything about the color yellow? Because after doing these yellow DIYs, I had such a lift in my spirit. They just brought my heart so much joy and I hope it's bringing you guys joy. Comment and let me know which one is your favorite and which one you might be um, doing for your summer DIY decor. Thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and amazing crafting journey. I have to give a shout out to everybody that is posting on my Facebook group page, all of you guys' projects that you're making. Oh my goodness, there are some super amazing crafters. You guys are so awesome. I saw that you guys are loving having fun making the coffee filter roses, the cakes, the signs, the wreaths. So wow, kudos to you guys. Thank you for sharing your gifts and also keep on posting. I love to see what you guys are up to. Also, I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. If you guys want to pop over there on my story, the little icon above, I share a lot of my personal things that are just going on day to day. Um, so I love you guys. This community is awesome. I have so many fun things to share with you guys. I I love to get patriotic for 4th of July. So if you guys want to do some fun 4th of July DIYs, stay tuned, as well as redecorating for summer. And I've been having a ton of you guys asking me about my hair. <laughs> so um, I do everything at home, my hair, my nails, all of that stuff. So you guys comment and let me know if you guys want to see me do some hair and makeup and nail stuff. I don't know. I'm just a mom. I'm definitely not a beauty guru. Um, half the time, I'm lucky if everything is put on right. So there's definitely going to be some times that it's not. So if you guys want to see that, comment and let me know. I do like to share with you guys an outfit of the day. I did get this cute little white sweater at a garage sale and this little rose print top at Maurice's years ago. I love to bargain shop. I'm sure you guys know that by now. So um, I've also been doing a ton of spring cleaning. So I'm really trying to be intentional about the things that I have in my home. And it's amazing how many things you actually accumulate. And so we are really working on some fun projects as a family and just individually. And I'm working on getting my craft area in show-worthy condition. And really not just so much show-worthy condition, but in 
um, a crafting way that's going to make sense because if you're a crafter you're probably like a little bit of a mini hoarder <laughs> you've probably got supplies and things that you're like oh one day I'm going to paint this one day I'm going to use that and so another thing that just kind of keeps community com <laughs> building up our crafting supplies for me so um, I would just want to share with you guys how I'm making systems to hopefully keep some of that stuff organized to make it fun and actually know what I have so um, I just want to thank you guys you're amazing I have so many videos planned for you and so I'm just excited I'm excited to have you here hey if you guys are new I would love to have you subscribe pop on here be part of this crazy crafting community and until next time you guys I love you so much we'll talk to you later bye bye